Hey there, welcome to Beals Science. I'm Craig Beals and today we're gonna play with cornstarch. Now, here's what happened. I was talking about oobleck a couple of weeks ago and my children, my own children who are in grade school said, what is oobleck? I got to thinking to myself, you don't know what oobleck is? So I felt like a failure. And I figured today, let's just play with oobleck in case there are other people out there in the world who don't know about oobleck either. And then I figured, hey, let's take this one step further. I've got this augmented reality sandbox. That's this crazy, incredible machine. And I thought, let's remove all the sand and fill it up with oobleck just to see what happens. Let's play. Starch is a carbohydrate that's made up of glucose. And most plants make starch as energy storage. In this case, corn makes it and it's in the endosperm in the inside and it's got amylose and amylopectin. Now, those are the long chains that give it its interesting properties. And this stuff, oobleck, it's really easy to make. You just mix one part water to two parts cornstarch and you adjust those until you get the mixture you want just perfectly. And then you play. Mix. Boring. Use our hands. Oobleck gets its name from a Dr. Seuss book, Bartholomew and the Oobleck, where there was this sticky green substance that was taking over a kingdom. A little different than ours. Isn't that awesome? <sighs> ah, this is too much fun. I can't stop. But here's the thing. This is fun and fine and dandy. And I could probably play with this all day, but I think we need to go bigger. Like, I think we need to go way bigger. I think we need to go like really, really big. So here's what I'm thinking. If a person can have that much fun with this amount of cornstarch, how much fun can a person have with <laughs> five gallons of cornstarch? That's 25 pounds of cornstarch. If you can have that much fun with this, I wonder how much fun you could have with this. 50 pounds of cornstarch. That's gonna be over 10 gallons of oobleck. You can't have more fun than that. We're, we're about to find out. And we're gonna put this stuff in our augmented reality sandbox. It's gonna be fantastic. So I've gotta be perfectly honest with you. I don't have a clue what this is gonna look like when we fill this whole thing up with cornstarch and water and make our oobleck. The oobleck isn't gonna stay like this, so it's not gonna have a lot of time to draw contour. It should spread out immediately. But if we get the mixture just right, I should be able to make some sort of shape, a hill or a mountain, and then watch it slowly slump out over time. Really only one way to find out. We shall wait no more. Sand, be gone. 150 pounds of, uh, you say that again without a weird accent. 150 pounds of sand gone. And we gotta load up the oobleck. I think for cleanup purposes, plastic is gonna be our friend on this one. 50 pounds of this is gonna take a long time. I'm bringing out the big guns to try to help out, but it's gonna take a little while. So check this out. That's, that's good stuff. The recipe stays the same. One part water, two parts cornstarch. The tricky part here is the mixing because oobleck changes viscosity under pressure. It acts like a solid when you put it under pressure, so mixing becomes a major challenge. Only like a ton more to go. Hey, I might be here all week. <sighs> you know, I've got this mantra that I live by. If a little is good, more is better, and sometimes that makes for great fun. Sometimes it makes for disaster, and in this case, it's probably a little bit of old. I haven't touched it yet. I haven't done anything with it yet. Oh. Oh. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> You've probably seen on the internet, people running across this stuff, right? It is, it, it's entirely possible. If you keep on moving, look at, it turns into a solid. But as soon as you stop, stink, it's quicksand. And then when you try to get back out, watch this. Oh, oh my gosh, that's like, 
Watch. Go. <laughs> what we're seeing here are the properties of a non-Newtonian fluid. Ublek doesn't follow the laws of a Newtonian fluid. It does its own thing. So what then is a Newtonian fluid? I'm going to use some maple syrup because I think this really highlights what a Newtonian fluid is. If we heat the syrup up, notice the hot one, the viscosity changes. It flows much more easily. So as we change the temperature, it changes the viscosity. Isaac Newton was the first to come up with an equation that helped people understand viscosity and fluids, which is why these ones that act normal are called Newtonian fluids. This mixture, this colloid, has these non-Newtonian properties that it doesn't matter if you heat it up or cool it down, it doesn't change viscosity. What changes the viscosity is the pressure. And this is awesome, this is fantastic. This is, this is what science is all about. And in science, we should get to play. So I turned on the projector for the augmented reality sandbox and my mixture was just a little too fluid. So we waited one day and ended up with this. It had dried out just enough that it turned into this excellent sort of viscous fluid that would morph and melt back into itself exactly like we want Ublek to do. And then when my students showed up for school, well, I lost them all. Everybody was lined up at the augmented reality sandbox that was filled with a hundred pounds of Ublek. And you know what? We learned a ton just by playing. can't stress to you enough. If you've never made this stuff, go out and get some cornstarch. You only need a little tiny bit and a little bit of water and you get to experience this magical non-Newtonian fluid that's just not even, it boggles the brain, it boggles the mind. And you know what? I'm trying to do a lot of mind boggling here at Beale Science, BealScience.com. Come on over and see me or hit the subscribe button right down there. That would make me just really happy. I got a whole bunch more videos coming up and I'd love to share them with you. But my goal always with this is to convince you keep on learning.